She's kooky, maybe spooky, but not altogether ooky. Jenna Ortega stars in Tim Burton's Netflix series Wednesday that's based on the iconic character of Wednesday Adams of The Adams Family. Well, it's out now, but is the series worth a binge? And I bet you thought I was going to do the snap, huh? After being sent to Nevermore Academy, Wednesday Adams attempts to master her emerging psychic ability, thwart a monstrous killing spree that has terrorized the local town, and solve the supernatural mystery that embroiled her parents 25 years ago, all while navigating her new and very tangled relationships at Nevermore. So this is an eight-episode first season with Tim Burton directing the first four episodes. The show certainly has a dark tone to it, but it's also incredibly sarcastic and witty. Now, what I didn't expect from this show, though, was for it to be so noir-ish in its mystery. Now, obviously, Wednesday is our main character, but she also serves as narrator as she dives into this mystery that surrounds some savage killings at her new boarding school. Jenna Ortega is absolutely awesome in the title role. I mean, she's deadpan, dryly hilarious, and has just the right amount of contempt that seeps into just about every interaction. Now, right from the get-go, Ortega embodies the character in a way that feels both nostalgic and fresh all at the same time. Now, because this takes place at a boarding school for high schoolers, the threat of teen angst is just around every corner. And when the show starts to delve into that arena, Wednesday thwarts it with some snarky comment that breaks the stereotypical angsty angle and then brings us back into the witty mystery. Now, for the mystery itself, it is fun, and I found it to be pretty engaging. That being said, I did guess the perpetrator in the very first episode, but in episode six, I totally flip-flopped and changed who I suspected, which then changed again once or twice before the final reveal. Now, really, all that's to say that while some of the mystery can be obvious, there's enough doubt created that may throw you off course for a bit. That made this a lot of fun to engage with, as I was certain I knew for so long, and then to have an extreme doubt enter into it. Now, I don't think the mystery is absolutely riveting or spellbinding. It's just a fun story that sucked me in. What really makes this series is the interactions between all the characters. Now, in addition to Jenna Ortega, there are a couple of standouts in this. Emma Myers plays Wednesday's roommate Enid, and I loved their interactions. They're exactly what you'd expect. Polar opposites thrust into a shared living space. But even though they are extremely different, there's still wonderful banter and charisma between the two, and so much so that I think you'll be rooting for them as a team, even though they never seem to be able to find that camaraderie. Now, there's also Gwendolyn Christie, Ricky Lindholm, Jamie McShane, Hunter Doohan, Joy Sunday, and Percy Hines White that make up some outstanding supporting characters. And some of their behaviors are routine or they're expected, but when they're all together, they work great as an ensemble. Now, there are some really good moments that we get with Catherine Zeta-Jones, Luis Guzman, and Fred Armisen playing Morticia, Gomez, and Fester, respectively. I mean, they eat up the scenes and just really play them to the max, taking full advantage of the quirkiness of the characters and the story. And then there's one huge fan service type addition to the cast, and that's with Christina Ricci. Now, in case you didn't know, she played Wednesday in the Addams Family movies, and it is awesome to see her in this, albeit in a completely different role. Now, this show is a long one, like I'd mentioned. I mean, it's eight episodes, and each of them are just about an hour long. But for me, I became so invested in the story that I wanted to continue the binge. I mean, I was having fun with everything that I was watching, and sometimes chuckling way more than I probably should have, but the sly gags and that quick-witted lines, I mean, they were just awesome to take in. And that's not to say that there isn't a formulaic portion to the storytelling. And while each episode may feature a step forward in the mystery, along with some setbacks and drama for Wednesday and then the other characters, it's not a cookie-cutter formula each time. I mean, that would make it boring and dull, which this show isn't. There's also a fair amount of heart to the story. And despite the cold and brooding manner of Wednesday, she's a likable character with some wonderful qualities. She doesn't just employ all the people skills that everybody else uses to maintain this polite facade. There's a moment towards the end of the show that I'm really glad they included, as it gives us a greater understanding of the character, it lets us more into her world, and then makes her somebody that we really want to cheer for. Now, I love the set designs and the costumes that we get in this. I mean, the set is really divided into two areas. We've got the Nevermore Academy that's kind of like Hogwarts if you ordered it off a of wish, but it's dark and gothic with some great aesthetics that add to the medieval and mystical charm. Now, there's also this creepy wood that surrounds part of the school, which then adds an even more ominous tone to the scenery. 
And then we got the town that sits right outside of the school. It's filled with normies, who are those people just without any abilities or spooky quirks. Now, the set actually looks like it was part of Stars Hollow from Gilmore Girls, where you have quaint shops and storefronts, a town square, and this large white gazebo that's nestled in the center of town. It's a great contrast from the setting of the school and really helps to establish and maintain the dichotomy between the two. So I think if you're a fan of the movies with Raul Julia, or even if you love the original TV series, this retains a lot of that spirit while bringing it into the modern day and making a lot of the interactions relevant for today. The mystery that's introduced is engaging and it's fun, but the cast of characters led by Jenna Ortega, I think that's what makes this such a standout series. So overall, Wednesday captures the essence of its nostalgic predecessors while creating a new identity to entertain audiences. The show fully embraces the weirdness inherent to the iconic characters and continues to make them likable and endearing. The noir mystery was a surprise addition, but a welcome one due to the intrigue and twists the story introduces. At eight hour long episodes, this is a longer show to watch, but the huge amount of heart displayed makes it an easy series to bench. There's no sex or nudity, some profanity, and a bunch of violence. I give Wednesday four and a half out of five couches. So what's a quirky show that you like? I loved it when the X-Files would do the odd standalone stories like Jose Chung from Outer Space or Bad Blood. But let me know yours in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.